what's up guys welcome to yet another video most of the times uh, we gotta use like someone else's code or we gotta split our code into bunch of other modules just for the sake of modularity say suppose like I'm building a simple C application and you know maybe I'm adding few mathematical functions so let's just say I added a you know cube function then I added a square minimum of two maximum of two so eventually what happens is there will be a point at which my main function or the main file itself is gonna look like you know thousand lines which is not at all practical because like apart from you whoever is going to review the code or who is going to maintain the code or whoever is going to read the code couldn't really understand what's happening and it's it's really clumsy so in order to solve that a lot of languages support something called as prototyping or modules split the code into modules or classes interfaces whatnot so in C language we do have a concept of modules via headers so to get started with like headers and uh, splitting your code into multiple files so what quickly we gotta do we gotta create two files one is header file and one is the corresponding C file so let me quickly do that uh, let's name this as you know simple math dot h and then let me create another file called as simple math dot c so in the header file so basically there is you know a preprocessor directive preprocessor directive is nothing, nothing but anything that starts with hash is called as preprocessing directive so what it happens is it tells the compiler that this has to be processed first before you compile any other code so this preprocessor directive is rather simple it's something called as if and def and then you gotta give uh, you know a unique name to this header file so generally uh, the rule is something like that simple whatever the name is underscore math underscore h underscore so generally people you know name it or name things uh, like header files like this and then uh, we'll just say end if okay so what happens is uh, like even though you you import this uh, header file multiple times since uh, it is going to be recognized with the with this identifier so if it's not defined only then it's going to be imported if not it's not going to be imported so that's the beauty of you know if and def and then once that is done uh, inside you you gotta say hash define if it's not defined you have to define it and then put put that in and then you could put all your imports and then you could get started so let's just say I have uh, std bool dot h as my dependency and then uh, and then uh, if I go to hello dot c over here let's copy the you know all of this code all of these mathematical functions and then I remove the std bool dot h and then let's go to simple math.c and then paste it over here so before we write any further code all the first thing the first you know recommended thing is you gotta include the header file of the corresponding c file so inside this we imported the standard bool so once that is done let's we have to like uh, you know put the function prototypes in the header file so that you know whenever you import a file that's going to be header file not the C file so it is like a interface in you know object oriented programming languages like Java or you know Python so let me quickly you know this is kind of tedious but like you know for the sake of sanity let me just do two more functions Okay, that's enough so now this is done so what we can do is uh, so we have this simple math uh, header right so we could just go into hello.c and then uh, hash include simple math dot hash but this is not uh, in the you know this is not set in the header files where it is supposed to be it's not there in user share this is rather placed in the current directory so because of that we are using the double quotes instead of angular brackets so one uh, since this is done so what uh, essentially we could do is 
let me just say you know let me just quickly get rid of this code and then say suppose I want to see if a number is even or not okay so get back to hello.c all I have to do is is even and then let's just say 2 mm -hmm. and then uh, let's also say bool value or something like that equals to is even and then once this is done let me just print it to the console so that I will know if it's a boolean or not I mean like if it's true or not okay let's me let let just you know ignore all of that and just print the value over here so let me compile this real quick so since we are using header files and multiple C files while compiling there is one of the crucial step rather you have to perform so generally what we do is cc hello.c right so instead of that we should also include the other file which you are importing that is simple math.c you, do, you need not compile header files because there is no code in them so you will do this and then you you know there is also a shortcut for you know a regular expression rather you would say star dot c you could do so it will compile all the dot c files dot c dot so basically it says one so that means it's a even number right so we could just put if you know is even of two directly i'm just saying void print f the given number is even this this is better far by far better than what I was trying to achieve. Cool. Let me recompile this. Cool. So this is how we usually split into header files and C files. You know, if this is how we uh, split the R fun project into multiple files in C language. That's it for this video, guys. See you in this saga of C language videos.